What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the rear drum brakes on this 2012 Ford Escape. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. I'm gonna remove the wheel. I'm gonna use a 19 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Loosen up the lug nuts before I raise the vehicle up. All right, now I'm gonna remove the lug nuts. Grab the wheel. Oh, this wheel's stuck on there pretty good. So I'm just gonna put a lug nut on, take a hammer and hit it from the backside. I can take the lug nut off and pull the wheel off. All right, I wanna take the drum off. If the drum's stuck on there, you can take a hammer and just hit in these locations, give it a good, good taps and uh, that'll break some of the rust free. A lot of times the rust builds up right there and that causes the drum to get stuck on. Slide the drum off. Um, when you pull these off, there's gonna be a lot of brake dust, so you can either wear a mask or just stay clear of any of the dust. I'm just gonna make sure I wear my mask. I'm just gonna take some brake parts cleaner and just go all around. Make sure you don't breathe any of this in. I'm gonna start from the top, work my way down. See some of that dust is going airborne. It's a good idea to have a catch pan or some, uh, some cloths to catch the brake, brake cleaner, brake parts cleaner. I'm gonna take this spring off right here. You can use some locking pliers or even some needle nose pliers. What I like to use is these hose clamp pliers. These hose removal pliers. Get in behind here and then just grab and just slide. You're gonna slide the clamp out on this side. Loosen that up. So that's just gonna stay there. That's gonna stay on the adjuster. For this spring, I'm just gonna use some locking pliers. Just gonna try to grab it right there. And grab it, pull it off just like that. Set that aside. Next, I'm gonna take this bottom spring out. We'll use those same pliers. Just slide that, set that aside. Now I'm gonna take this off. Normally, you would use a tool like this, but um, this one's a little too big. So, I'm just gonna use some locking pliers. Make sure they have some good grippers on them. Squeeze onto that. On the back side, there's a nail that goes through there. So when I push down on the spring, I'm gonna twist it to the side. I'm gonna hold the nail on the back side. There's the nail right there. I'm gonna grab the shoe and just slide it off. On the back side of this, there's a little lock right here. I'm just gonna lift up on that lock and then I can take the adjuster off. Now I'm gonna do the same with this side. Not too tight, I don't want to squish that. Slide that off. Grab the shoe, slide it up. All right, to remove this from the parking brake cable, just give it a pull, slide this back, and slide that off, just like that. Gonna take a wire brush, clean these um, areas off where the shoes ride against the backing shield. Get those cleaned off. I can take some brake parts cleaner, clean this all off. I'm gonna take some uh, brake brake grease, and we're just gonna lubricate these contact points where the shoes would contact the backing shield. That's just gonna keep the shoes sliding good. I'm gonna use these locking pliers on this cable for the parking brake so that I can slide this out. 
and I slide this out, then I can take this shoe. Now the rear shoe on this one is the one with this extra bracket. So take this extra bracket, slide it on like this, push that spring forward, just like that. So that's how that goes, and then this flips over like that. A good thing to keep in mind is where all the hardware goes, um, the best thing to do is leave the other side together. Don't take both sides apart. So if you leave one side together and you forget where something goes, you can always reference the other side. So we'll just slide this into position like this. You want to make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this. You don't want to get grease on the actual brake shoes. Then we'll take this spring, make sure you're pushing the nail from the back side, and then twist just like that. Before we install this adjuster onto this shoe, um, what we'd want to do is, if we were replacing the shoes, is tighten this adjuster down so that it's actually adjusted smaller but um, we're not replacing the shoes at this time, so we can just slide this in position. This slides down like that. Then we can take this shoe, slide it over here. We wanna go make sure that nail goes through that hole there. Put that in position there. And then make sure the adjuster goes over here, just like that. All right, while holding the nail from the back side, take the spring and that little retainer. You want to line that up. We're using the locking pliers. Push down and then twist. Sometimes this takes a lot of effort to get that retainer on right. Um, if it, you struggle with it, just keep working at it. You'll eventually get it. So I want to hold this adjuster in that position like that. And then I'll take these hose pliers and just slide this over here. This may take a little effort as well. Try to get that on there. It's a good idea to wear safety glasses with all these springs here as well, because something could fly out. A lot of times these hose pliers work a lot better on um, <clears throat> rear brakes that have bigger springs. Not really working too well on this vehicle. So I'm just gonna use the locking pliers. And get that right there. Then I just want to just take the shoes and just push in. That's pushing the wheel cylinder in. There we go. Now we'll install this spring. Just slide that on one side. Take the locking pliers on the other side. And make sure those springs are all the way in there and those look good. Now I'll take the bottom one. I'm going to start on this side and lock it in over there. And those are all locked in. Everything looks good. Make sure that's all tight. It's all in position. Because this drum was actually kind of hard to get off, we can use a wire brush and just try to clean around on this hub right here. I'll just take a little rag and wipe this down. You could also use a little brake parts cleaner on here. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of copper anti-seize and just spread it around the hub, just in the center here. Some people like to spread this all over the place. I personally don't like to put too much of this on because I don't like it getting all over the place. If you get this on anything, it never comes off, so. Take the drum, 
slide it in position. All right. All right, so I'm having trouble getting it on, so I have to loosen this up a little bit. So I'm just gonna take two screwdrivers, one that's smaller. The smaller one, I'm gonna push on this little lever in the back, that's the self adjuster. And then I'm gonna try to adjust the adjuster forward. I like to count how many times I do this, so I'm gonna do it three times like that and I'll try it again now what you want to do you want to adjust it so the shoes are just touching the drum and you spin it and it's a good idea to take the other side off take the other drum off because you could be confused thinking that it was rubbing and it's actually coming from the other side so these actually feel pretty good like this if you had to adjust it some more, you pull the drum off, adjust it accordingly, which way you need to adjust it, and then you'd be good to go. We also had a little trouble getting the tire off, so I will put a little bit on here. A little anti-seize. I'm gonna put the tire back on. Put the lug nuts on. Gonna use the 19 millimeter socket, tighten these down by hand. I'm gonna take my socket and a torque wrench. I'm gonna torque these to 100 foot pounds and I'm gonna do it in a star pattern so that the wheel gets tightened down evenly. going to go around again, make sure everything's tight. Thanks for watching. If you want the parts to do it yourself, check out 1AAuto.com, the place for DIY auto repair.